I actually tend to imagine why people fail to understand the fact that everybody operates on a different platform. Um, I had this confusing situation this morning when I had to think about two things. There are people who are very good in expressing how they feel by words or what they feel for you by words. And there are people out there who believe in expressing what they really feel for you by actions. Now, I was of the opinion that, let's take it for an instance. A woman or a lady is actually sending me a message and then she says, baby, I love you. Then I can reply back. You know, I can, I find it so difficult to, to want to say I love you too, but the only thing I could do is send some, a kind of emoji actually to ask my own response to her, you understand that. But then that is not what she wants. She want to hear it too. She want to hear, I love you too from you. That's what makes her feel like the both of you are in a thing. This is a problem with every individual. I think humans are actually getting attached to the virus of the brain. You see, when you feel like him not sending back, I love you too, means he doesn't care about you, then that's where you get it wrong. But then you, you, you tend to figure out that this same guy that I, I am talking to about, I love you and then he's not getting back to me, immediately I'll ask him for something, he just come true for me. Then you, you have a, a point to want to sit and ask yourself what's going on. I tell him I love you, then he ain't going to tell me back. But when I need anything from me, he comes true for me. But then there's this other man on the other side of the whole page, when you tell him I love you, he's always there to make you feel sweet. He's always there to tell you I love you too. But then when you got issues, you even tend to feel very, very much ashamed of yourself to even want to ask him because you know he's not going to come true for you. Then now, if love is a verb, what should we be looking into? Should we be looking into uh, the words we get to sweeten our hearts or to gladden our hearts? But in reality, this person is not a real friend. This person is more like a best friend. Those people who believe in words are more like the best friends who always want to stick around you. But those people who believe in actions are now the real friends who can come true for you even from a distance. So when you all are out there trying to figure out how people tend to react to you or tend to answer you when you tell them something, don't just judge them quickly because everybody is in their own world and everybody understands how they operate in their world. I'm not the kind that likes to talk. I'm the kind that likes to act. So if you are out there expecting me to do more of the talking when it comes to areas where I should be doing more of the acting, then that's not me. So you out there, if you want to really be with people, you should really understand the people who are of words and of actions in your life. That's the only time that can propagate you and make you feel comfortable choosing the right people in your life. This is your homeboy Green. Peace out.